Hello, and welcome to Vault Life. Today I'm going to have a go at trying to replicate one of the most notorious sounds in all of electronic music, the infamous Hoover. At the core of the Hoover is a waveform from the Roland Alpha Juno 2, which is a bit like a sawtooth and a bit like a pulse wave. As far as I know, no Eurorack oscillator has this built in, but I think we can replicate that with reasonably common. Hoover was a name sometimes given to a sound that was used again and again in early 90s rave. For instance, in Charlie by The Prodigy and Dominator by Human Resource. These had been sampled from Mentasm, a track by Second Phase, aka Joey Beltram and Mundo Music. They had originally sampled that from an altered version of a preset on the Roland Alpha Juno called What The, a factory sound created by Eric Persing. To be honest, I'm not trying to accurately replicate the actual Hoover sound, since Beltram has said that they added some extra effects, probably involving EQ and lo-fi sampling, but no one knows exactly how it was done. What I will try to do is get close to the What The patch, focusing on a unique feature of the Alpha Juno. The patch uses three waveforms from a single DCO, standard pulse width modulation, a sub two octaves down, and a variant on a sawtooth with animated notches, sometimes called a PWM saw. The rest of the patch involves a downwards pitch sweep, and while the VCF is wide open, the famous Juno chorus adds further richness and stereo width. The PWM saw has a similar harmonic structure to a normal saw, but with the rich animation characteristic of PWM. I don't know of any analog VCO that does this, so let's take a closer look and see how it's done. The Alpha Juno manual shows that this waveform has two notches that vary in width. Outside of these notches, it's a standard saw, but during the notches, the voltage is static. It's like the sawtooth is being turned on and off twice every cycle. So to do that, we need to run the sawtooth through a VCA or switch. Note that to produce the exact Juno waveform, the saw has to be unipolar, so you might need to add some DC offset with a mixer or offset module. Now you just need to modulate the VCA with a PWM wave to get the animated notches. However, this modulator needs to be at twice the frequency. You could do this with a second VCO tuned to one octave up, but some oscillators can give you a saw and a pulse wave an octave apart, and that's what I'll use. To get a PWM wave together with a sawtooth an octave down, I use an AFG audio frequency generator by Livewire. We take the sub octave out, which is set to sawtooth, and feed that into a VCA. We then take the PWM out and use that to modulate the VCA. The output will then be our PWM saw. To get a sub octave two octaves below the main pulse wave we use a clock divider. In this case the divide by four will give us one that's two octaves below. On its own it sounds rather plain but once you start playing with the pulse width start to hear how interesting it can be and then we bring in the modulation and that's starting to get a bit hoover like now let's bring in the PWM itself and a sub octave two octaves down and that's sounding rather good Last thing we need is some chorus. Yeah, that happens it out a lot. To get the proper Hoover action, you'll need a pitch sweep. Here, I'm just using the Mother 32 simple attack decay envelope to create a simple sweep. Here we go. Just the decay to taste. And that might sound a little bit like a Hoover.
If you don't have a module with a sawtooth sub, like the AFG, then another option might be the IntelliGel Rubicon. This has a sawtooth, and it also has an option to change the pulse width type to one octave up. There might be other ways to use a standard VCO to create a sawtooth together with a pulse width modulated wave one octave up. However, that'll have to wait for another video. In the meantime, I hope you found this useful. If you're not into cheesy rave sounds, the PWM saw is a nice rich waveform to have anyway. But if you are, check out my previous video. Thank you for watching.